Hi everyone, I hope you guys are doing good. Um, it, I miss being in class and this quarantine's kind of lame. But um, today I'm going to be talking about Project 150. I know Project 150 sounds pretty cool. Um, there's a cool story behind it, um, behind the name. So Project 150 is a nonprofit organization to help benefit homeless high school students. And so the way that the uh, it was founded was um, there was a group of 150 students that attended Rancho High School and they were like really struggling financially. And so uh, a couple people helped them out. It's pretty cool. Um, their aim is to give disadvantaged teenage kids a chance to graduate high school and change their future. It's super powerful, especially in this town where there's a lot of homeless people, let alone homeless teens. Um, the rates are just super high and it's really uncool, but everyone deserves a chance at a better future. And I firmly believe that. And you could help give someone that chance. Um, and it's super easy and available to everyone to help someone out. <laughs> um, I'm a dual credit student, as mo most of you know. And so I'm attending high school and attending college. So I'm getting to see both sides of the spectrum. But um, what I've observed in my high school days, and I'm sure what a lot of you have observed, is it's really, really tough. And there's a lot of pressure to fit in. And it's just kind of a weird environment. Um, but with these kids who are financially struggling, it's becoming more increasingly more difficult to fit in and a lot of the kids who fit in are wearing designer clothes and that stuff and so it's easy to stand out if you're financially struggling and I think that creates a really big barrier to like survive in high school. Uh, I see a lot of kids losing their motivation to succeed because of their situation. Project 150 helps these kids out by giving them food and clothes and um, they help their families by offering counseling and they also offer classes like lifestyle skills classes. Uh, students are the future and it is important to do what you can to benefit them. Here's why and how you can help. One of the first ways you can help these kids is through donation. They take dollar donations which is super easy. You just go to the website, enter in, you're done <laughs> and it helps a ton. They also take clothing and product donations like hygiene products, any product you can think of, and any clothing that um, you can think of. A lot of this stuff is aimed towards high school kids and so um, they sort through the clothing and like find what's trending and stuff like that and uh, they donate whatever clothes that didn't really make the cut um, to other organizations and it's super super cool. They also accept prom dresses and dress clothes and I could go so, so, uh, such a long way if a teenager is looking for something to wear to the prom. It sucks trying to find a dress. <laughs> They're all so expensive. Um, item or money donations help out so much, but some people don't have that option. Donating your time is another amazing, amazing option. They're always in need of volunteers and it's super easy. All you do is go onto the website, enter your information, and you're registered. Uh, whenever you go there to volunteer, there's also so many options to help. It's literally endless. Like, you're, there, you can't run out of things to do. <laughs> and so if you think you're bad at one thing, there's another thing. There's so many ways you can help out, and here are the reasons you should get into it. Volunteering is a great way to benefit your community. It's, a uh, civic stuff, you know? <laughs> Volunteerism, it just benefits everything. Uh, with Project 150, you're helping out kids who normally get overlooked, but who struggle a whole lot. I feel like high school kids get overlooked a lot and their problems get downplayed. Volunteering takes nothing but your time and everyone has a couple hours in their week to spare. Um, hopefully you're considering these things and you want to donate to this. In conclusion, we're overlooking a group of people that need help. These high schoolers are dealing with so much pressure from school and their families. Making an effort to support these kids can make a huge difference and we should all consider it. High school is, a super, uh, is not a super understanding place. When kids feel separated from their peers, especially if it's because of financial issues, that really puts a toll on them. It causes school to be not a safe place 
and their motivation to succeed decreases. Students are the future, so it's important to do what you can to benefit them. Thanks.